Whenever I voice my support for Israel's pro-democracy movement and protesters, people ask me, well, does Judaism believe in democracy to begin with? And to that I say, look around you. Where do Jews live? More than 95% of Jews in the world, by choice, end up living in liberal democracies. Why is that? Because we are usually a minority that likes to exercise our rights and faith and beliefs, which usually don't conform with that of the majority. And so, if you live in a totalitarian country, you will not be able to practice your faith as you wish. And if you think that when you have your way, you will be able to impose it and that things will work out to you, all you need to do is really look at the Middle Ages and see how badly that backfired. The founders of the United States of America, many of them were deeply religious people. And the reason they founded a democracy was because they saw what happened in Europe. They saw people killing each other in religious wars and they re realized that practicing and allowing others to practice as they wish is a key to your faith. If we wouldn't have laws that allow us to keep Shabbat in America, we would be in a situation where we have to follow the majority. The majority of Americans do not observe the Sabbath, they observe it on Sunday. And yet, Jews came to America and fought for the right to live as a minority with our rights. And so at the heart of Jewish observance, at the heart of the idea that we want to observe our faith as we wish, is the idea that we must respect others to worship and live their lives as they wish. It's a simple social contract. And history has shown time and again that if that contract is violated, it soon comes around to you. And if you think that you will impose your way today, guess what? Tomorrow you will not be the majority. And if you don't respect the rules of a liberal democracy, your faith and Judaism will be the first ones to be hurt. So that is number one. Stay tuned for the next video about Judaism and democracy.